Uh, since when you uh, be a singer or are you interested in a be a uh, music? Oh, well, when I was like really young, I just listened to music all the time and I started taking lessons. Um, I took lessons for about a year though and then I stopped but I just grew from there and now I go to Loxa at like County High School for the Arts and I do singing every day. I take singing classes. The talent for the music is this coming from your parents? Or that just natural, natural talent that um, you have. Um, I think my mom. It came from my mom. Uh, she, when she was younger, she used to be an artist like me, and she used to sing, and she plays the piano, and she used to dance and do gymnastics. So she was a very artistic person, and I think that's where I get my artistic. What's the first uh, music instrument, the one you play. Uh, yeah, uh, instruments like a piano or uh, a violin or... Um, well, I started taking lessons for piano and then I got really bored and I stopped. But then I picked it up again and I stopped and I picked it up again. And I did this like several times and now I just like know the notes. I can't really play right and left hand together, but I want to learn again because it's such a beautiful instrument. And I also want to learn how to play guitar. And I got a guitar, but then the teacher that I was going to take lessons from quit. So. isn't actually from Ronnie King, it's just four songs from Ronnie King. The others are from, uh, I believe there's two from Terrence Davis and I forgot how many, but the rest are from C minor. Um, I've written, I wrote most all the songs, um, if not all the songs I co-wrote. Um, and yeah, it's just all about me and my influences in my life. And, when I'm 18 is actually a really important song to me because it's about what I want to do when I grow up and it's my dream and it's something. You are a uh, write a uh, uh, song too, so how is this going on for writing a song? Um, well in the beginning with my producer C minor, he would give me the beats and I would listen to them at home and start writing to them. Um, but then with Ronnie King, he would write with me in the studio. He would make the beat right there and then, and then I would start writing. And I just use everything that's around me. I use my past stories, or I'm just in the moment, like my song in the moment. <laughs> I actually wrote that that day, and I just wrote about the studio and how I love being there. And yeah. uh, your age is, is really young right now, and you still can be whatever you want it. Mm -hmm. And is that a professional singer that's the true, the one you want to do it when you're growing up? Yeah, you know, um, a lot of kids are being pushed by their parents and their parents are telling them, yeah, you need to be this and you need to do this. But no, um, I'm telling myself what I want to do. And my mom is just supporting me. My whole family is behind me and it's really what I want to do. What about the competition in America uh, industry? For the music right now? Uh, I don't really think it's competition. I mean, I'm a competitive person. It's just like, I don't think like I should bring down other people to bring myself up. I think if I'm in the music industry with other people, we're just all, we're just all like co-workers. Like we do the same thing. It's not a big deal. But we're just all working together and doing the same thing. How about the preparation for a concert for February 20? Oh, um, we have rehearsals every single weekend um, for all for about eight songs and I have dancers who are supporting me and my choreographer and it's all really just building up and 
it's just, it's a CD release party. It was really called a party, it's a performance kind of thing. I'm really so excited. I'm going to be singing later. I'm going to be singing eight songs that night. Mm -hmm. And I wrote most of them, um, if not all of them. I think some of them I co-wrote, but I'm still one of the writers of all the songs. Okay. What is your genre um, for your song? My genre, I would say about like pop, kind of Disney-ish, yeah. bubble gum, pretty bubbly. Okay, what kind of song the one you think you're gonna hit one day for American market? Um, I'm gonna say when I'm 18. Uh, it's very Disney and it's very fun. It's not too Disney so that non-Disney people won't like it. But it's not like really out there, like Britney Spears kind of sexual thing. Um, it's just me. It's just my dream, and I think everyone can relate to having such a big dream. You speak Indonesia, and you can tell a little about Indonesia. Okay. Um, well, I speak a little bit of Indonesian. I came here when I was really young, so I don't really remember much like language. But my mom and I still talk in Indonesian. Um, but I was born in Jakarta, Indonesia, and my dad is actually there with my sister, and my whole family is just there. Um, but me and my mom moved out here. So. Uh, you can speak Indonesian a little bit? A little bit. Uh, you can talk about uh, Indonesian language a little bit right now for Kabari? Uh, we're gonna have uh, like a promotion, some uh, launching your city in Indonesia. Um, my manager, I think, is talking about doing that, doing maybe a concert there, but I don't know. Things can change. Untuk semua pembaca kabar news di Indonesia dan di Amerika, salam dari saya, Megan. Please come to my CD release on February 20th, 2010, at the Saban Theater in Beverly Hills.